everyone and welcome to my update to my um, project plan for 2019. Um, this is the team project plan that's um, starred by Kat and Haley from Beauty News. Um, I usually do a monthly update um, going between the two different styles of project plan that I'm doing but I missed the one at the beginning of July I kept sort of putting it off hoping for a better opportunity and some better lighting conditions um, but it's winter here and it never really happened and there's a couple of things that I thought I was going to use up so I sort of trying, ended up um, kind of putting it off thinking that any day now I'd have an empty and that didn't really happen either um, so anyway let's run through some progress okay so the first thing I'm going to talk about is my MAC Fantasia lipstick um, this is what I'm wearing at work pretty much every day every now and again I'll switch it up with something different um, or I'll, reapply, I'll apply this in the morning and then apply something different during the day but yeah, I think I'm using it this at least once a day, probably more like twice a day. Um, and this one has gone from 19.45 to 19.31 grams. Um, so I think from where a MAC lipstick starts, I've used up probably about a gram or close to getting towards a gram um, of the lipstick. So... I don't know if I'll get it finished by the end of the year, um, but I'm going to try. Um, the next thing I've got is a Super Shock eyeliner from Avon um, in the colour Plumful. Um, making steady progress on this, I'm using it most days. Um, from my last um, recording of an other um, weight, um, which is only about three months, uh, three weeks ago. Um, I've used up about 0.6 grams. Now, bearing in mind that this is a sharpenable one, so some of that is possibly, get, if I've sharpened it, going to be in the actual packaging. Um, but yeah, getting there. Um, now I'm down to where you can just see the super shock and if you turn it around you can see that I've lost I'm into this here um, and if you wanted to compare that I'm just trying to find one that I've, I haven't used all that much of to compare it to um, but um, this has also lost a millimetre in the last three weeks as well um, I've got Pebble and Amethyst Eye Pencils, which are from Avon. Um, both of these have lost um, a millimetre um, from last time. And both of them have lost a 0.05 of a gram. So I am using them. Um, they don't tend to be my go-to's but I am using them from time to time um, now down to the point where oh, this one which is the longer one but you can read most of the writing on um, I've got off from it says smooth and you can see that the lid's coming down to the O there um, and this one's a little bit shorter again um, the next thing I've got is my big bottle of Fix Plus um, I've actually not been using this one quite so much because I've got a few little sample uh, minis that I've been putting in my bag and actually using. Um, I tend to do my makeup at work so most of what I use um, is in my bag so um, this has sort of got on the back burner um, but I did use 0.95 so basically almost a gram in the last three weeks. Um, the next thing I've got is a foundation from Avon, a cashmere one. Um, I've only used a tiny bit of that, 
I was only 0.1 gram, so I'm not even going to bother to show that. Um, the next is my Chalk and Cherry um, Palmer's Lip Balm. Um, this one I've used close to half a gram. Um, went from 10.48 to 10 grams on that one. So um, thinking I might get through it by the end of the year. Um, I'm, think I'm thinking that's going to be a possibility. Um, next I've got Mocha Silk. This is actually what I wear as an eyeshadow base when I'm using brown eyeshadow, which tends to be this one. Um, I would have said most days, um, but I've only used 0.02 grams, which is a bit strange. Um, I would have thought I'd use more than that. As you can see, that's round all the way up. There's really not much there left. Um, but it is quite old and dry, so it does take a little bit of effort to get too much colour out of it. Um, but again, one I'm thinking that I should be able to use up by the end of the year. Um, and the next item I've got is the eyeshadow that I usually use with it um, that keeps breaking and I have to keep repressing. But strangely enough, I did use 0.08 grams of this. No, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, I only used a little bit of that, only 0 0.02 or something grams of that one. What I do use most days is this old cod from MAC. Um, I put some uh, glycerin on it because these were really stiff and I was trying to see if I couldn't um, make them a bit more pliable, um, which is why the Stark one in particular has got a dark film on it. Um, you can quite easily see that I've got some reasonable dips in those. Um, tend to use less of the lighter two, tend to use fluffier brushes, tend to use this um, sort of transition-y crease type shade. Um, that one more was a highlight. This one on most of the lid and that in the corner. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking that I should hit pan shortly on this one and probably that one. Expect both of the expect that by the end of the year. I'd expect that one sooner rather than later. Um, but it has been slowing down a bit since I put the glycerin on it and it's kind of changed it a bit. Um, I may even end up um, breaking it I'm up, up at repressing it adding a bit of glycerin and see if I can't get them to work better but I don't know, we'll see how we go um, the next thing I've got is my micellar water um, which I used up just over 4 grams of getting down there, not much left, we're pretty much sitting on the bottom of that label there if I hold it straight um, yeah, so really expecting to get this done by the end of the year um, going away shortly I'm not sure if I'm going to take this with me whether I'll put it in another container um, otherwise I actually got a Mecca one um, in their new box that's replaced one of their, um, their their present thing that's replaced one of their beauty, beauty loop membership benefits um, had a 50 mil one so I might take that away with me in which case this one will go on the back burner for about a month still think I can get through it by the end of the year though um, the next thing I've got is a tinted moisturiser which is an Avon product um, this one I've actually used a couple of times um, quite thick. Um, saying that I've used 0.35 grams, um, tend to use either this one by itself or this one and the cashmere. Um, they're not my go-to ones because I don't particularly like either of them and I particularly don't like them by themselves. much prefer them together. Um, and as I said before, because I do my makeup at work most times, I don't keep the two of them 
in my makeup bag so it tends to only be when I'm at home um, and it tends to mainly be on a weekend if I'm just going shopping or something I'll chuck this one on or occasionally the book two of them um, what next? oh yeah the next one is something I actually used up um, it's this Rimmel BB cream um, I don't know didn't love it didn't hate it but I did manage to use it up um, it was really tricky to use up it got really thick towards the end um, and I'd find that I'd go to squeeze some out and some would come out or some wouldn't come out I'd sort of give it a couple of bangs and I'd squeeze it again and a whole heap would come out um, which was a bit frustrating because it all oh, and then it all sort of stuck it was all stuck to the um, container so it just took a couple of bangs and I'd get something but I never knew how much I was going to get um, ended up cutting it open thinking I'd get another use or two out of it and end up getting probably I don't know seven or eight uses out of it which I wasn't really expecting um, and the la by the time I got to the last one um, I think it must have been just after a weekend so it had sort of sat not touched for a couple of days and got felt really quite dry and nasty so really glad to be rid of that that's one down quite a few more to go but that's one less I need to worry about and um, now I've switched over to a different one um, which is this one which is a skin goodness Avon one uh, it's, a mineral, it's a mineral one well the other one was quite thick being a BB cream this one's actually really quite runny really quite liquidy um, I don't mind it um, colour might be a little bit too dark but it's really quite a light coverage so it doesn't seem to be too horrible on um, yeah, so that one's what I'm using at the moment so I don't mind this one um, consistency and whatever wise by itself so I can get away with taking it and wearing it to work and just putting it on without having to worry about too much else um, my Clinique concealer I barely touched um, so I won't even worry about showing that one my slim shine lipstick from MAC I used a couple of times but isn't showing any uh, weight progress it's probably more of a spring colour um, it's only a bit left probably the same bit that there was last time um, so that's what it is um, so yeah expecting to get that done by the end of the year um, or even if I don't get it completely finished finished like scraped out finished um, I'm certainly expecting to get use all the what you'd call the usable product and then I'll, by the end of the year and then I'll probably it may take me into next year if I decide to dig it out um, what else have we got um, ultra balm lip balm from Lush I uh, used over half a gram um, use it quite regularly so it's now at 34.25 grams um, so probably used up around about half of it considering there's 45 grams in there plus the weight of the tin probably sitting about halfway on it um, probably won't get it done by the end of the year though because um, a little bit of this goes a fair way and I tend to just use it on my lips as a lip balm um, Planet Spa hand cream um, is what I'm using at the moment because I actually used up um, the hand cream that I was using before uh, which was the Lush one um, so I can't, I don't think I've put this in an empties or put it in a update of any sort. Um, so yeah, that one's gone, which was the Helping Hands. Um, it was really old, it had separated a bit, but um, persevered and used it up. So I've actually got um, a couple of empties, which is really nice to get a couple of things out, particularly with a lush one because they do tend to have, well they have an, an expiry date, they, and they do last past the expiry date, this one was getting nasty, so I'm glad to see it got. Um, 
using this one now and even this one in the last three weeks I've used exactly four grams um, it's probably it's, it's, mine's sort of settling around about there um, don't know if I'll have this one done by the end of the year probably not going to take it away with me because I've got a couple of smaller ones because um, this is a 75 gram tube and I've got a couple that are smaller tubes, a couple of samples that I'll probably end up taking away rather than taking this big tube. Um, Planet's Bar Lip Balm, hardly used any of, not showing much progress. Um, I t I've got a number of lip balms sort of all going at the same time. Tends to just be whichever one I've got on me and easily accessible and they tend to sometimes they live in my bag sometimes they live in my pocket because um, that's the other lip balm I've got it going at the moment which is let them eat cake which is an old blush one definitely expecting to get this one done by the end of the year um, pretty much scraped out all the outside and put it in the middle um, there's no reason why if I sort of concentrate on those two should be able to get them both done by the end of the year but then I have a few others that tend to hang around um, like this one and a couple of others um, yeah so we'll see how we go um, that maple taffy one I just showed I've used up 0.62 grams of um, and that might be where I'll leave it for now because um, it looks like my um, memory's about to run out. So 